On this vehicle, when driving, we felt as though we had an issue with braking. It took a little longer. Aside from that, the brake pedal was a little low, spongy, and the red brake light came on on the dash. This is all very dangerous, so the first thing we want to do is make our way under the hood. It's probably a brake fluid issue. We'll find the master cylinder, which is typically on the driver's side of the vehicle inside the engine compartment, and we're having a peek inside of the reservoir. You should see the fluid level is up to the maximum line. If it wasn't for some reason, more than likely you're going to try adding some of your manufacturer specified fluid directly into that reservoir. If for some reason you found that the fluid was low again, what does that mean? It means you probably have a leak and there's several places you're going to want to take a look. Let's talk about it. One of the first places I would start looking would be around the master cylinder. You're going to have some lines that lead out from it. Those are going to typically lead to an ABS unit of some sort. Those steel lines have the probability of getting rotted, weak, or damaged in some way, especially if they're not coated or made out of a special material that doesn't corrode. Aside from that, after checking the lines, you want to check each one of the connection points. Those metal lines or brake lines should lead to a flex hose of some sort, typically at the brakes themselves. The flex hose is going to lead down to a caliper. You're paying attention to the bleeder screw first. If it looks like it's wet around there, it might not be tight. Aside from that, you're going to have to remove that caliper and take a close look. On each one of your calipers, there's going to be at least one caliper piston. Some calipers have multiple, two, four, I've even seen six, but most likely you're gonna find one or two. Look around that caliper piston. You're going to find a dust boot. If you find that there's fluid making its way out of the dust boot, that means that the internal seal on the caliper itself is bad. There's actually a fluid seal inside of there. It's supposed to prevent the brake fluid from making its way out. So if you did find that you had brake fluid coming out of that seal, you have to go ahead and replace the caliper and of course just order it from us. Some vehicles are going to have drum brakes in the rear of the vehicle rather than having disc brakes. So you don't have a caliper piston to check, but you do have a wheel cylinder. For that wheel cylinder, along the back side of the backing plate, there's a bleeder screw and that's where the line goes in. But on the inboard side, where your brake shoes are located and the hardware, that's where the rest of the wheel cylinder is going to be located. Once again on this, you're going to have a dust boot on the outside right where those two piston tabs look like they're coming out hitting up against the brake shoes. But on the inside there, once again, you're going to have brake fluid seals. Now we've talked about the majority of your hydraulic components of your braking system. Well, most of it. There's one more area that you wanna pay attention to if you're chasing a hydraulic leak and you can't find one visually out in the open. It's your master cylinder. We already talked about where the lines go into it. That's not the only place you wanna pay attention to. There's an area that's buried inside the brake booster that you need to take a peek. For that, we're gonna have to dislodge the master cylinder from the brake booster so we can have a closer look. Before I start removing this master cylinder, there's something that I saw under here that I want you to take a look at. This is a pretty clear sign that you have a brake fluid leak or maybe you spilled some fluid. That's common too. Looking underneath this area at the booster, just underneath the master cylinder, look at that paint. It's starting to peel away from the metal of the brake booster itself. This is common if you have a brake fluid leak coming from this area. Brake fluid is corrosive and it's going to start eating the paint off of metal even if you got it on a body panel of some sort. If that did happen, use some water, clean it off immediately. This one right here does definitely look like there is or was a leak coming from this area. We're gonna have to take a much closer look. One common thing that people might try to do would be to come over to the vacuum line, which leads from the engine over to the brake booster. Typically, you can take hold of that, slide it out of the rubber grommet, and try to have a quick look inside of this area. It's going to be a very small port, kind of hard to see inside of there. Now, if you have a boroscope, that might help you. You can carefully bring it down inside, and you might see something that you really don't want to see. Ooh, I can see fluid in here. There should definitely not be any fluid inside the brake booster. Yep, that's not good. Ooh, yeah, you see that? That's not good. Otherwise, the next best thing would of course be to just go ahead and remove that master cylinder from the booster. Typically, you don't have to remove the lines at this point if you're just doing an inspection. A quick note about this, in case there is fluid, make sure you have a collection receptacle under this area. Ooh, yeah, that's not good. Wow. Now, while I was pulling away that master cylinder, what was the first thing that you saw? I saw brake fluid making its way out of that brake booster. There should never be any brake fluid inside of your brake booster. If there is, it means that the internal seal on that brake master cylinder is bad. Right along that inboard side that leads into that brake booster, that's where the seal is leaking. 
It's making it so the fluid's transferring into that brake booster rather than making its way all the way down through the brake lines to each one of your brakes. This is a big issue. Not only do you have to replace the master cylinder, if you have fluid inside the brake booster, now you need to replace them both. If you found that you had just a small amount of brake fluid inside of the brake booster, people might try to use a fluid extractor to try to remove that fluid. The problem with that is once you have fluid inside of the brake booster, it could cause damage to the diaphragm internally. You don't want to be driving in a vehicle that doesn't have the assist on the braking system. It can be very dangerous. Of course, anything else that I need for my braking system, or the vehicle in particular, I'm going to order it all from oneauto.com. It's going to be shipped right out to me. I'm going to install some brand new parts here, and I'm confident that it's going to fix this issue. Let's top this off one last time. Right up to that maximum line. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to have a look at how much fluid was inside of that brake booster. In just a second, we had to replace the master cylinder because it leaked into the brake booster. So of course we're replacing them both at the same time. We also have to make sure that we bleed the entire brake system. You don't want any dirty fluid in there and you definitely don't want any air. Let's have a quick look at what's going on in here. Wow. This just keeps going. Believe it or not, I've seen this before. 